Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinema Sound. Today we're going to be doing something that not a lot of people are doing, and that's uh, using hardware acceleration in audio in Adobe Audition. And today we're going to be using the hardware acceleration system sound grid from Waves Audio in Adobe Audition so that we can use incredible amounts of processing power in plugins using Waves Audio plugins in Audition without taxing your system at all. So if you've used used any uh, big time, you know, reverbs of any kind, you know how hard they can be on the system, but nothing is, well, almost nothing is more taxing or more beautiful sounding than the Waves H reverb. We use it on Blade of Honor, we use it all the time, it's incredibly powerful. Um, but Waves has a, a whole bunch of boxes that connect to your computer via, via Ethernet that allow offloading of processing of audio tasks, like plugins, that uh, your, would bog, otherwise bog your computer down sort of like a video card, right? But this time it's with for audio information. So let me show you what this is like. I'm just going to open up Sound Grid here for a second. And here is pretty much the system we have at Cinema Sound Studio B. We have uh, uh, Mark the Unicorn 1248. That's what's sitting here. There you can just see that there in a hardware devices. We have the Mac itself. That's this little thing here. And then we have an SGS1 server um, that uh, is, again, the hardware box that's connected to the uh, Mac via Ethernet. And once we have this set up and everybody's green and we get the nice green uh, a Waves Studio Grid light on, we can actually pull this up as a plugin. Now, before I do that, I want to show you what Waves uh, uh, H Reverb does to your system. Now, this is a 12 core Mac Pro running at 3.36 gigahertz. It is a beast. Um, and Audition isn't necessarily, to be frank, it's not the most happy multi threading tool in the shed. And it doesn't necessarily, it's not able to use all of the processing power in real time. It, it can do in bouncing, but not in real time. It's kind of hard on that. So we're going to see if we can blow up Audition here. And it's just a piece of music from Blade of Honor. Okay, nice piece of music, fine. Let's just add a whole lot of reverb to it and see what happens. So we're just gonna go here, and we're gonna go AU, we're gonna go Waves, you could do VST if you like. Let's see, H, these are all the plugins from Waves. H, reverb, long stereo, there we go. And we'll just add one of these. It's a beautiful reverb. We're gonna give it a massive long tail, like eight seconds or so. Woohoo! Beautiful. Let's add another one. Now, I'm going to tell you this. This is their most potent and processor-intensive reverb. It's massive. Reverb long stereo. And we're going to add two of these. Now we've got two of these running. Give it a long, even longer. Nine seconds. You can hear it starting to break down. Uh, there's some artifacts you're going on there. It's kind of kind of breaking down. Now, of course, you could use pre-render and deal with this, but you know, what if you what if you don't want to? What if that's a what if you got to work fast because pre-render takes long and you've got a two-hour movie? Well, what are you gonna do? Let's add another one and see if it will allow us to process three in a row. Here's the H <laughs> reverb long, and we'll keep it here somewhere at six and six. Let's see what happens. No chance. There's no way. The computer and the software just are not going to be able to do this. All right. So if we wanted to do this, we'd be out of luck. We'd have to be doing pre-render or something like this, um, which really slows us down. So we're going to get rid of these. And let me show you the miracle of offloading your processing power to something like a Wave server. Here's how we do it. We're going to instantiate Waves AU. Again, you can do this with VST. We're going to go to Studio Grid Stereo, which is way down here. Studio Rack. Sorry, Studio rack stereo and then it comes up and as long as we see the green thing here we know we're connected to the studio grid here yay you can leave this plugin working on your local cpu and in some cases it actually does better multi-threading than your host digital audio workstation you can see each one of these you have up to eight insta instances that you can use for any plugin on any track which is super cool 
But we want this to go to SoundGrid, which is the acceleration card that's plugged into the Ethernet port. And it finds it, and once it's green, we're good to go. We're going to add one H reverb. And again, this is only for um, Waves plugins. Waves plugins. So here's uh, H reverb long. Same thing we saw before. You'll see it shows up on this nice little thing here. Let's run it up to eight seconds. Let's see how it's doing. Doesn't seem to have a problem. Notice that we have 64 voices and two of them just got used because it's stereo. And it's using 14% of the DSP power of that accelerator. Let's add another one. Some of you are already doing the math in your heads about how this is gonna go. Let's run it up to 10 seconds, let's say. No artifacts, no nothing. Let's add a third. Plug-in list, reverb, H long. Let's really make it long. It's 10 seconds plus. No artifacts. We're at three. Remember, it wouldn't even play three before that. Let's try four. We're going for four. Do I hear four? How about this? Uh, long, there it is. And we'll make this one maybe seven or so. Better pull this down a second. It says 54 DSP. Well, I can tell you, I'm just going to speed up this process. I can add another one. I can add another one. And now I'm at, where am I at? 74% resources? 79? No artifacts. Let's add one more. We'll make it nice and long, too. It's a pretty cool sound running seven different H reverb longs on top of a perfectly good piece of music, but notice no artifacting, no ticking, no problems, no, no holding back or stuttering in the play. You know, look at this play marker. Oops, there we go. It doesn't even care. It's no problem. And the actual computer has no issues. Audition is running perfectly flawlessly, and you can run all of these tracks. So this is something that right now you can buy, uh, I think it's $700 which is like, what? To have all of this power? And you're like, well, that's only seven plugins. Well, <laughs> you can run a bazillion plugins because you can have seven plugins. Obviously, you're not going to run eight or seven reverb longs. In fact, you probably shouldn't run reverb, eight reverb long unless you're running a really long uh, reverb anyway. But you can run all kinds of compression and, and, and EQ and everything and Audition's free to do whatever it does, and it bounces offline and in real time, no sweat. If you've been using the Waves anything, let us know what your experience is. And by the way, for Cinema Sound uh, MZ Pro members, you get, I think it's 35% off the gold, Waves Gold package by simply signing up as a student and uh, saying that Cinema Sound is your uh, school of choice, and they'll give you a great discount on Waves Gold. Let us know how it's going for you on the cinemasound.com forum, and until then, we'll see you in post. Yeah, you